Tuesday, uh, April 30th, 2024. Um, and, <laughs> and the View's first hot topic was an interview that Trump did with Time Magazine, and I guess came out today. Um, he's on the cover, uh, and the cover title article is If I Win, which feels a little bit like the OJ's, you know, If I Did It book. Um, it, there, I, um, it, it, the whole thing's creepy to me. Um, but he laid out all the stuff that, that you know, that he wants to do with it, that, uh, you know, tracking pregnancies, um, sending uh, abortion rights to the states, which you know how that's going to go because we've been watching it um, uh, go entirely. He did earlier say, um, not in this interview, but he did say that he would leave it all up to the states. He was not, he didn't go so far as to support a federal um, ban on abortion, but he said, because we have to win elections. So he would 100% once he got in support um, a federal ban on abortions. Um, they sort of, it, they were, it, the, I think it was Sonny said, I'm glad he's saying the quiet part out loud. And Sarah corrected her and said, he's only saying some of the quiet part. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that he's clearly going to do that's not in there. Um, you know, Alyssa talked about having no guardrails. Um, I'm surprised they didn't bring up the Project 2025 group. Uh, it, it, it's a group from, I think, the Heritage Foundation um, that is planning uh, what uh, what types of people will be appropriate for um, for government work, and not just you know advisors in the White House, all the way down to like you know schedulers, any federal employee whatsoever. They are going to try to vet um, and get rid of anybody who isn't anything other than a Trump loyalist. That is, it's a complete giant federal takeover of the government with Trump loyalists. And it's it, it's terrifying. And I have to believe that the closer we get to November, um, the more people will come to their senses. Um, I don't believe any of these polls, but I would like to see them not so close. Um, and, but on the other hand, they need to be close to help motivate people to get to the polls. But Joy Behar said the most um, astute, uh, and concise um, thing about people right now who are upset with Biden that can't bring themselves to vote for Biden specifically because of everything that's going on um, in the in the Middle East and Gaza and and the U.S. support of Israel, which I, I I've I've got to hope that that situation gets better, that we pull the plug on Netanyahu at some point, um, or because uh, I don't think he's going to back down in any way, but. Uh, there's got to be a tougher stance against what Israel is doing. Um, I don't know if we're going to get there in time before the election. Who God knows what's going to happen with the myriad of court cases. The View has yet to talk about the, the the argument in front of SCOTUS about the total immunity, which I don't know. I listen to that, and I'm not a legal scholar, but everybody's like, oh, they're definitely going to go with Trump. I was like, I didn't get that impression. Definitely not from um, Comey Barrett. Uh, I mean, the 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 uh, Sotomayor, um, Kagan, and um, uh, Brown Jackson were like tearing the whole thing apart. They were they were you know where their position was. This is a ridiculous argument. Why even they they didn't say why are we even listening to this? But um, they were they tore into it. But even um, I felt there was a lot of pushback from Comey Barrett. Um, a little bit of pushback from Kavanaugh and Roberts. Alito and Thomas were just like, um, oh, okay, okay, let's do it. But um, I didn't get the same sense that it's going to be a kind of a slam dunk. The, I think most likely, um, in order to not have too controversial of an opinion, to not um, strike it down or approve it, they will say, it's got to have better, you've got to have better clarity. That whole argument about what's an official act versus the personal act um, really kind of fuck things up. But it, it, to me, it, it doesn't, the whole thing doesn't make any sense because there sh shouldn't be anything. Um, if there's an official act, like we've given the power to the presidency that is not against the constitution, then there shouldn't be anything that's an official act that goes against the constitution um, to me. That would be overreach beyond presidential power. So I, I'm not sure where that how that argument lies. But anyway, um, that whole discussion about 
um, the you know the current protest votes and the people that are um, upset with Biden and um, you know I'm now you know Joe Biden cheerleader but I know what the stakes are there's a binary choice and it, it it's either um, it, it's either you go with someone who you have the opportunity to potentially influence through your protests or you go with a fascist who's just going to put you in jail and he's not going to help any of the people um, that you're talking about trying to help. Um, and if your whole thing in this protest about Israel and, and Hamas is about human rights, um, allowing a, 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 a dictator to take over the United States government, it, it really reduces your argument. You no longer care about human rights if you're going to allow that to happen. Um, but Joy said the most beautiful thing, and it's the line I'm going to steal from her um, from now on. She said, you don't replace dissatisfaction with a dictator. Um, and that's just genius. Um, it, you know, she's usually got, she was throwing out quips um, that, and, and usually they're just slightly off. Sometimes she's hilarious. Sometimes they're kind of off the mark. Um, sometimes they're, you know, it's low hanging fruit and it's too obvious. Um, she did make a diaper joke, which I, I appreciated. Um, but uh that you don't replace dissatisfaction with a dictator. Um, a hundred percent correct, Joy Behar. Uh, kudos to you. Um, and uh, you know, Emil Safara Farla Griffin does the same thing she's always done. You know, goes through all the policy, goes through all the um, talks about things theoretical, but she still can't bring herself to say we have to support Joe Biden. Like, and it like I don't give a flying fuck what you have to say about. You we can never have Trump, and you you've been you know you know banging the whistle and or whatever <laughs> you know whatever you've been doing um, a thousand times over, and for ever since you left the administration, saying this man is a danger, he can't blah, 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 blah. and it doesn't really matter. None of those words matter if you're gonna throw away a vote to a third party and let him win, um, unless you're gonna just unless you're gonna come out and say. We need to support Joe Biden. Um, it doesn't matter what alarm bells you're ringing, dum dum. Um, because again, um, at Joy's point is is uh, is salient there as well. That um, Alyssa, you don't replace dissatisfaction with a dictator. And that's all we're going to talk about today. <laughs>